Welcome to the Summer Solstice Celebration presented by the Covenant of Unitarian Universalist Pagans. The power of the sun is above us and its heat and strength are a reminder of this season of ripening gardens, orchards, food sources, and flowers. The smells of the forest call us to come and walk amongst the trees and the waters invite us to play. The children's laughter is on the wings of the air and the chatter of the animals echo through the season. Let us gather now with the many chapters of the Covenant of Unitarian Universalist Pagans and celebrate this longest day Put your flowers in a vase or make a wreath to wear. Light your candles, spread out your divination sources before you. We welcome our members, our friends, chapters and sponsoring congregations and all those in attendance at General Assembly. Join us now in the spirit of fellowship and love of our planet. It's time to begin. Today we light our chalice with a reading from Singing the Living Tradition, number 548, Summer's Warmth by Helen Cohen. We stand at the edge of summer. The sun has at last warmed us enough that we begin to trust in its presence. The last burst of spring blossoms Lavender and white and deep pink banks of rhododendron are giving way to summer peonies and roses. O oh, source of the turning seasons, of earth, of life, of promise, gradually becomes fulfillment. May your people find a lightening of the burdens with the brightening of the sky. The common chalice is lit. I invite you to light your personal candle or chalice at home. Blessed be. The beloved is dancing in her white gown, flowers plaited in her hair. The stars in her eyes are searching for every struggling sprout needing to be nurtured and kissed by life. Like a spatter of light full of brilliance and hope, she kisses me in the morning with her soft breezes and warm sunlight. The rains will come soon. Flowers, trees, grasses, and weeds will grow, and with them life will increase. The birds, the trees, animals, the fish, all things will arise from their frozen state to sow the seeds that will create the vessels to carry life through the next cold winter. You live in me, I live in you, and in this great turning of the wheel of time we sit at the hub watching the world go round as every being slowly spirals towards the center so we, like in the old time, before time, will return to being one. You and I sit watching the world in the midst of it all. The love inside us chases away the heat, the cold, the life and death. For every day with you, my beloved, is a celebration of the equinox of spring. Winter has died and spring is born, followed by a glorious summer. Nature-oriented Unitarian Universalists, pagans, and other Earth-centered people sometimes like observing the cycles of nature as part of their spiritual practice. They watch the seasons changing, animals growing, plants coming into flower. It takes 24 hours for the earth to spin on its axis. 
Part of the time, we receive light from the sun, and we call this day. Part of the time, we're in darkness, and we call this night. Though we are the ones spinning, we perceive it as the sun moving in the sky. We witness fingers of the dawn illuminating the sky. We see the noonday sun dazzling in its brilliance. We marvel over dramatic, colorful sunsets. But what of the annual cycle? We will need the help of photography to see that natural cycle unfolding in the sky as our planet revolves around the sun over the course of a year. If you go outside at noon and take a picture of the sun from the same place every day all year long and then stack those pictures up one on top of the other, you will end up with something like a floppy figure eight. This is called the solar analemma curve. At the very bottom is the winter solstice around December 21st. The sun seems to hang low in the sky. This is the shortest day and the longest night. As the months pass, the sun appears to climb higher and higher each day until reaching a peak around June 21st. This is the summer solstice, the longest day and the shortest night. The times of year when the day and the night are equal are called the spring equinox and the autumn equinox. We move from dark to light and light to dark again, not just over the course of a single day, but over the course of the annual cycle of seasons. Today in ritual, we'll make that journey again together, moving out of the darkness and towards the light. We may have our own personal cycles of darkness and light. Yet even on the days where nothing seems quite right, we can pause, we can take a deep breath, we can turn our faces towards the sun and rekindle our own inner spark.
The sun rises over the Atlantic, and the winds usher in the dawn. In the pure light of morning, we see with clarity. In the name of the hawk of the dawn and the element air, we call upon the power of east. May dawn's light dispel our illusions. May it illuminate our own biases and show us the truth clearly, that we might embrace it, that we might taste it upon our tongues. May we be guided by reason, by knowledge, with clarity, towards right action and right relation, towards justice and truth. O hawk of the dawn, swift merlin of morning, may we be quickened by the powers of the east. May we be made flush with rising sap of spring, our thoughts sharpened to arrow points, our eyes far-seeing in the unclouded air. When the winds of change blow, may we rise upon them. In the name of the spirit of life, we call to the east and draw the powers of air into our circle. May our endeavors be blessed by their presence. Spirits of fire, you who give us the power to transform, you who give us passionate illumination and the strength from which to lead, you who gift us leaping, blazing sparks on a winter's night, you who gift us the warm, sunny glow of a summer's day. From the many lands of the southern region together, we ask that you help inspire all of us as we enter into this sacred space. Hail to the spirits of the West. We call to you and we invite you into our circle. Spirits of water, givers and sustainers of life, we call to you. Spirits of streams and rivers, lakes and oceans, spirits of the tides and storms, we ask you to cleanse us and refresh us. Wash us in gentle rain. We ask you to nourish the earth and all her creatures. Welcome, spirits of water. Spirits of evening, spirits of the setting sun, we call to you. Spirit of twilight and spirits of the evening star, we ask you to give us pause from our labors, that we may see the magic of your in-between time. May your waning light call us to rest. Welcome, spirits of the evening. Spirits of the heart, spirits of all things we feel, we call to you. Spirits of love and compassion, we ask you to wash away our fear and rinse away our pain so we may see things as they are. Fill us with love, that we may radiate love to all. Welcome, spirits of the heart. Spirits of intuition, spirits of dreams and visions, we call to you. Spirits of all the ways of sacred knowing, we ask you to wash away our arrogance. Wash away the scales from our senses, so we may see and hear and feel knowledge and wisdom from this world and from the other. Welcome, spirits of intuition. Spirits of water, spirits of evening, spirits of the heart, spirits of inspiration. All the spirits of the West, we welcome you to our circle. Accept this offering of clean, clear water, we ask, given in hospitality and in love. Spirits of the West, hail and welcome. Grounded and rooted in regions of the North, 
and drawing on energies from within and across the earth, we offer hearty greetings and abundant blessings to all our fellow earthlings. Wherever you are, let your thoughts settle and let your energies come to ground. Sense the deep, quiet pulse of the living planet. Feel its solid support. Now, allow your awareness to move down and into the Earth itself. Connect with its vast network of roots, cultural, biological, temporal, philosophical, and imagine these roots bonding and binding everything and everyone with everything and everyone else. Common ground, ground of being, Mother Earth, bless us. Grandmothers of our mothers, grandfathers of our fathers, grandmothers of our mothers, grandfathers of our fathers. You who have gone before us, you who have paved the way, hold us in your ancient arms on this solstice day. Grandmothers of our mothers, grandfathers of our fathers, Grandmothers of our mothers, grandfathers of our fathers. You who see before us where we need to go, we call upon your guiding lights as we follow ancestral roads. Grandmothers of our mothers, grandfathers of our fathers, grandmothers of our mothers, grandfathers of our fathers. You who have gone before us, you who have paved the way, hold us in your ancient arms on this solstice day. Grandmothers of our mothers, grandfathers of our fathers, grandmothers of our mothers, grandfathers of our fathers. You who see before us where we need to go, we call upon your guiding lights as we follow ancestral roads. Grandmothers of our mothers, grandfathers of our fathers, grandmothers of our mothers, grandfathers of our fathers. We turn now to the ground beneath our feet to call in to us through us and around us the spirit of below mother earth herself gaia sacred core magnus mother pachamama we are ever nurtured and supported by the spirit of below the iron that runs through our veins and blood is the iron in the core of the spirit of below. We call to us, through us, and around us the energies of rocks, minerals, crystals, and all that is in the ground. With great reverence and respect, we welcome the spirit of below. We turn now to the sky above our heads to call to us, through us, and around us, the spirit of above. Grandfather Sky, celestial hosts, archangels, divine consciousness, sky and light beings, cosmic energy. We are ever inspired and quickened by the spirit of above. Our bodies are made of stardust from the spirit of above. We call to us, through us and around us, the energies of sky and stars. We welcome with reverence 
and great respect, the spirit of above. As above, so below. As within, so without. As the universe, so the soul. And so it is. Here and now, we search deep within ourselves. Here and now, we evoke spirit. We call on spirit that gives us vision to inspire us, alchemy to transform us, and is the source of love. We call on spirit, the force that connects us to the whole of existence, the thread that runs through our blood and sends the ripples of our actions affecting the web of life. We call on spirit, which is the invisible container for all other elements to exist. Spirit, we evoke you and call thee hence to join us. Blessed be. Please join us in our responsive reading, We Are Connected, by Reverend Leslie Takahashi. Despite distance and fear, we are connected. Despite loneliness and change, we are connected. Across different experiences and lives, we are connected. Even in the face of the inevitable losses of life, we are connected. When we wish to laugh, we are connected. When we need to mourn, we are connected. Across a divi nation divided, we are connected. Even when we dance alone in a room, we are connected. In the heat of the sun, we are connected. In the glow of the stars, we are connected. Across the limits of our imagination, we are connected. Even when nature trembles, we are connected. The following reading is from Rosemary Bray McNeff, titled This Essential Work of Justice and Liberation for All. By no means are we Unitarian Universalists perfect. We often fail as much as we succeed. Yet even when we have broken our vows a thousand times, we return to this essential work of justice and liberation for all. We do the work best when we remember what church is and what it is not. Church is not a place to hide. It is not the place to get away from the world. It is not a place where we get to pretend that our lives, the lives that we live, and our particular situations are not terribly complex, often confusing, and sometimes depressing. Church is the place where we stand with one another, look the world in the eye, attempt to see clearly, and gather strength to face what we see with courage, and yes, with joy. I invite you to sing, dance, or drum along as we reflect on our interconnectedness and the need for continued justice work even during the pandemic. Spirits of every sky, we are a soul. 
Schubert. In honor of the risk takers, those that hold the vision with clarity and charge forward with optimism, even in the face of others' doubts. You are our lamb and our guides. May we never forget the courage it takes to lead the way forward. In honor of the cautious skeptics, those that gather the information needed to navigate tumultuous waters of change. You are the map makers and the preparers of the stories. May we appreciate your attention to the details that keep us on course. In honor of the doubters, those that may fear the changing tides of a turbulent world. You are our anchors and remind us where we have been and where we are as a community. Now, may we relish your commitment to our history and your passion for who we have become. In honor of the dreamers, those that imagine what we can be to and in this world. You are the wind that blows the sails of change, pushing us ever forward. May we revel always in your whimsy and hope that dares us to never stop becoming. May the work we do together strengthen our communities and our world. 
May we heed the call to always hold the vision of the free church ever in our sight and to work towards justice. Together, we build a powerful spirit that is strengthened by the gifts of all. In honor of all of you doing justice work in various ways at your home, congregations, blessed be. I am who I'm becoming. I am all I have done. I am what I am dreaming. I've just begun. I am who I'm becoming. I am all I have done. I am what I am dreaming. I just begun. You are who you're becoming. You are all you have done. You are what you are dreaming. You just begun. You are who you're becoming. You are all you have done. You are what you are dreaming. You only just begun. We are who we're becoming. We are all we have done. We are what we are dreaming, we've only just begun. We are who we're becoming, we are all we have done. We are what we are dreaming. We've only just begun. We celebrate and honor all of our individual members and CUPS chapters and the shining lights you bring to your home congregations. This is a blessing on those staying at home by Linda Barnes. We're staying home. Love has never asked this of us before. We're staying home. This is our gift to humanity. Let us wish each other well. For those staying home alone, I offer you this blessing. May you grow a deeper understanding of your own worth. Dear one, Leaven the aloneness with gentle care, for this too shall pass. May you be blessed with a peace and serenity. May you find the courage to reach out to hear another's voice and to remember others need you too. May you be well. For those staying at home together, 
I offer you this blessing. May you find moments of patience and grace in your relations. May you offer each other enough time apart, reassurance, and space enough to cry, to safely rage, for this too shall pass. Then let peace come again into your home. May you see one another's whole self as a gift. May you be well. For those working from home, I offer you this blessing. May you remember to take breaks. May you find the means to relish your imperfection and the imperfection of others as evidence of our shared humanity. You are enough even when there isn't enough. Make order in your days and then let it go. May you be well. For those staying home with children, I offer you this blessing. May you find humor and compassion in your days. There will be learning of a different kind, deeper, no doubt, unexpected for sure. May there be patience and forgiveness again and again and again. For this too shall pass. May you all remember the deep love that brought your family into being. May there be peace and understanding in your home. May you be well. May we be well. May it be so. We have almost completed the journey from dark to light in our summer solstice celebration. I leave you with an excerpt from Vibrant Juicy Contemporary or Why Am I a UU Pagan by Margot Adler. I guess I chose UUism because I need to live in balance. I can do all those wonderful earth-centered spiritual things, sing under the stars, drum for hours, create moving ceremonies for the changes of the seasons or the passage of time in the lives of men and women. But I also need to be a worldly, down-to-earth person in a complicated world, someone who believes that oppression is real, that tragedies happen, that chaos happens, that not everything is for a purpose. Unitarian Universalism gives me a place to be at home with some of my closest friends, my doubts. Of course, there are many rationalists within the Earth-centered community, but somehow I feel more centered in this denomination. And I think in turn, the pagan community has brought to UUism the joy of ceremony and a lot of creative and artistic ability that will leave the denomination with a richer liturgy and a bit more juice and mystery. As we all strive to balance our joys and concerns, our solaces and our sorrows in continuing pandemic, May we all take inspiration from the sun and rise up again and again to share our light in our home congregations and with the world. May we keep on living vibrant and juicy. Blessed be. I am the firebird. I am his daughter. I am the firebird's child. I am the firebird's child. I am his daughter, and like the flame, I am wild, 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 wild. I am the firebird, I am his daughter, I am the firebird's child. I am the firebird, the boldest song you've ever heard. Join in the dance and make it wild, wild. So strange, but fire dances around the limbs of this uncommon maid. Be brave enough to burn, and you'll be brave enough to fly. Join your sister Solace as she lights the morning sky. I am a firebird, I am his daughter, I am the firebird's 
Our final reading for Extinguishing Our Candle is from the hymnal Singing the Living Tradition, reading 706 by Kathleen McTeague. May the light around us guide our footsteps and hold us fast to the best and most righteous that we seek. May the darkness around us nurture our dreams and give us rest so that we may give ourselves to the work of our world. Let us seek to remember the wholeness of our lives, the weaving of light and shadow in this great and astonishing dance in which we move. The common chalice is extinguished. We invite you to extinguish your personal chalice at home. Blessed be. Thank you for attending this year's Summer Solstice Celebration. On behalf of the Board and the Chapters of the Covenant of Unitarian Universalist Pagans, we honor the time you have spent with us to celebrate the spirit of the summer. May you be nourished by the gifts of the growing harvest. May your thirst be quenched by the waters. May your heart be filled with the warmth of the sun. And may your spirit fly on the wings of love. Let the resilience we have learned from our ancestors circle back round to us that we may be agents of healing, courage, justice, and love. Be well. Our right and our service is complete. Peace be with you. Blessed be. Come and dance with me. Come and dance with me. Come and dance with me. Dance with me. Dance
I want, I call to her. If I need, when I need, what I need, all I need, she sends to me. If I want, when I want, what I want, all I want, I call to her. If I need, when I need, what I need, all I need, she sends to me. Come and dance with me.